What's going on guys, Matt over here with Gen 5 DIY and today we have our rapid fire third brake light harness and we're gonna do an install on it. I got Jared here from Gen 5 DIY and we're gonna get right into this trunk and show you how this harness plugs right on in. Let's do it. Okay, for this install, it's actually pretty simple. The one thing that probably takes the most time in this is removing the rear felt cover. Uh, there's a couple tree clips that you have to pull. There is a plastic thing that you pop off and you just feed this through. This is the emergency exit out of the trunk uh, to get to the upper area. So let's go ahead and pull that off. We'll, uh, we'll do a little fast motion here. We have the felt cover off. Now we gotta get up into this little hole right in here. And you can actually see the plug right there. You see that little black plug with the red and the wires going into it. There's basically just a little push. It's a little bit of a punk. If you have a flathead screwdriver or a tool, you could push in and closest to the light, it comes right on out. See, you can kind of see the clip here. What I did is I pushed as high up as I could right there and that pushed it in because if you just grab it by the tip you're not going to have enough leverage to actually push that in so once that's out get your harness plugs right in and this plugs right back in to the car Need leverage. There you go. So you can tuck this all in and it's installed. Now, before we put all the felt on, let's make sure it works. Well, there you have it. Light works. We can button her all up and it's good to go.